first of these Gresham lectures, I introduced you to some little lumps of coal, just to remind you, each of which represents half a trillion tons of fossil carbon, and which, if burnt and released into the atmosphere, would cause one degree of global warming. Together, they represent more or less the reserves of fossil fuels we've got available underground. So one degree, two degrees, three degrees, four degrees, and so on. Back when we originally discovered the need for net zero, we'd already burnt the first half trillion tons. We're working our way through the second one. We've got about a third of the way through already. And in the six months that I've been giving these lectures, we've burned about 1% of this half trillion tons of carbon. So 20 billion tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere in six months, enough to cause a hundredth of a degree of global warming. Now, a hundredth of a degree doesn't sound very much, but that's in six months. So in five years, that's a tenth of a degree. In a decade, if you add on the impact of other pollutants we're putting into the atmosphere, like methane, getting on for a quarter of a degree, a quarter of a degree per decade. That's how fast the world is warming at the moment, thanks largely to continued burning of fossil fuels. I'd like to remind you where this carbon dioxide has been coming from. Look at this video of carbon dioxide emissions over the past 250 years. Early 19th century, notice one small island off the coast of Northwest Europe was responsible for the vast bulk of human carbon dioxide emissions. The idea caught on, Germany caught on, it's moved on to the eastern seaboard of the US. By the end of the 19th century, it had spread out across the US and Japan was taking off. Early in the 20th century, you can actually see the impact of the world wars. India and South Africa are starting to show up. And after the Second World War, we see the explosion of emissions as China took off, Indian industry took off, and we saw the developing modern pattern of emissions emerging. But I think it's worth remembering that video because, you know, looking around ourselves at all the extraordinary wealth of the City of London over the years, that's where it came from. Britannia ruled the skies a long time before we ruled the waves. We were the origin of this problem, which is why th whenever they keep telling you how much of a climate leader the United Kingdom is, yeah, we are a climate leader, but not in the way you want to be.